What? I did not know that that's what I meant. Hello, my shoddy base. Hello, my besties. Welcome to our official February TBR. Wow, the crowd goes wild. Everyone's so excited to see what's on our February TBR that we're probably not gonna read. Okay, wait, just kidding. In my defense, let me explain myself. My January TBR, I'm working on it right now. I know it's February. I know, I don't wanna hear it, okay? I'm working on it as we speak and I'm making a whole video out of reading my entire January TBR. So like, can we be proud of me for a second, please? I'm gonna wait until you're proud of me. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to bask in all of this glory. I really am this amazing. Anyway, let me explain what I'm going to try to do for this TBR. This might be a mess, okay? Bear with me. I, I'm going to try to explain this. <laughs> so I believe, I'm a firm believer in the fact that there is a Taylor Swift song for every book. Every book, there is a Taylor Swift song for it. I don't care if it's a thriller. I don't care if it's a horror, a fantasy, a romance. There is a thriller. Mm-hmm. There's a Blondie song for it. <laughs> So therefore, I got 10 Taylor Swift songs and I correlated it with 10 books on my shelf that have been there for quite some time waiting for me to read them, okay? This way I can get through them because if Taylor Swift's involved, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? Anything involving Taylor, I do it. I'm watching football, okay? That's Taylor. Giant has been trying to get me to watch football for years. Not a single time have I been interested, but all of a sudden Blonnie goes to games and I'm, I wanna be there. I wanna watch, I care. Yeah, touchdown, go sports. <laughs> anyway, so this will hopefully be a way for me to read a lot of the, these books that have been on my shelf for quite some time. Now, do I know anything about these books? Absolutely not, because I haven't read them. Obviously, since they are on the TBR, I haven't read them, okay? So I picked songs and then I quite literally picked books that either have some something to do with it on the title or the blurb called to me to this song or the cover spoke to me with this song, you know? I may be wrong when I actually read these, we'll see if it even has anything to do with the song I chose, but you know, this is just for the TBR purposes, so let's not look too deeply into it, okay? This was a clever idea by me, all right? You, you, if you don't think so, then I, I, I leave. <laughs> let's do this. Also, I'm kind of giving traffic cone, aren't I? Like, like, spot the difference. These spot differences games are getting so hard lately. Like I look like a traffic cone. I'm giving beware. I'm also giving orange is the new black. Oh, I'm giving prison. It's fine. It's fine. I, I lately want to be into orange. Okay. I've been trying false coming up eventually. So why not? This year, fall is going to happen at some point. I'm prepared. Now, I'm going to show you these books and then I'm going to tell you why I picked it based on the song. And I can't play the song because due to copyright reasons, you know what I mean? I already give all my money to Taylor. All my money goes to her, whether it's music or whether it's concerts or whether it's, it's, it's tickets to the movie about the concert. I'm always spending my money on her, okay? So if she doesn't need any more of my money, we're going to keep it this time and we're not going to play the song. But I will sing it to you because we all know that I love to sing, even though I shouldn't because I'm bad at it. But I do love to do it. <laughs> Anyway, these first, this first one is like very obvious. I try to pick a little bit of each from my shelf. Like I try to do a YA, a thriller, a fantasy, just so I have different books on my TBR. This was a little bit difficult, but I will say this one spoke to me immediately. And when I show it to you, if you're a Swifty, you're going to know the song, okay? Now, obviously every single one of these songs is going to be Taylor's version. If she hasn't come out with it yet, we're just going to pretend that it is, okay? We're going to replace it when it becomes Taylor's version because we don't listen to anything non-Taylor's version over here, okay? Okay. Anyway, First song is Out of the Woods. Yeah, one of my favorites, dare I say it. Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? Are we in the clear yet? Are we in the clear? Remember when you hit the brakes too soon? 20 stages in the hospital room. When you started crying, baby, I did too. When the sun came up, I was looking at you. You know, anyway, this this book, it just, it just calls me with Out of the Woods. Like, <laughs> call these silent woods. <laughs> now listen, let me explain. I don't need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway, okay? There's woods there. So yeah, out of the woods, you know, look at those woods. Can't wait for them to get out of it. No, also, okay, there's a little deeper meaning in this one. I know it's obvious because of the title and because of the cover, but when I read the back, it said that this family is like stuck in the woods and they're, they're haunted and stuff. They live there. Oh wait, they want to be in the woods. They live in a remote cabin in the middle of the woods. Blah, blah, blah. She's starting to push back. Okay, so she wants to leave the woods, his daughter and he wants to stay in the woods. Somebody wants to get out of the woods. So therefore out of the woods for The Silent Woods by Kimmy Cunningham Grant. This does look like a thriller. I'm pretty sure it is. It might be a horror. It's something along those lines. And I'm very excited to read it because I haven't read a horror or thriller in quite some time. And I'm kind of missing that, that edge. You know what I mean? I'm kind of missing being scared. So no electricity, no family, no connection to the outside world. How nice, how nice. I hate everyone. So that would be great. Just kidding, I need my mom. But other than that, I could be there in the woods forever. As long as I have my Kindle, music, my mom, I'm good. 
giant like girl <laughs> do you not need me i do as long as i have giant also <laughs> and lord my best friend and also some food obviously you know and also i kind of want a tv because i want to watch i want to watch my favorite shows i don't want to be in the woods anyway the silent woods that's the first book on the tbr exciting stuff yes <laughs> Next up, we've got mine, another one of my favorites. I feel like I'm gonna say this for every song, you mind your business. The only reason why I chose this one is because you made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter. That's quite literally the line that called out to me when I saw this book, okay? Confessions of an alleged good girl. This gives me, she's good, he's the bad boy, he kinda makes a rebel out of her, you know, he brings her out, and then they become in love. And it gives YA, gives Q. I feel like mine is like a sweet love song, you know? And it says here, like, like, I embrace that I'm not all good either. As far as I can help it, church girls won't be me. Not anymore. So she's the preacher's da daughter. <laughs> she's the preacher's daughter. And she, like, hates the rules of it. So she breaks out. Does he have anything to do with this? Reggie. He's a misunderstood bad boy. Okay, you see what I'm trying to say here? I feel like mine kind of goes with that. Granted, when I read this book, it could have nothing to do with it. Again, I'm just going by the title and the synopsis. So he, he definitely made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter. She is the best thing that's ever been his. I'm not gonna lie to you, this next one I'm very proud of, okay? Because it's Message in a Bottle. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to find a book for this, but I did, but I did, okay? And this is a book I've been wanting to read for quite literally my entire life. Like I was a baby and I was like, I wanna read this book. I don't even know what came out. I, I've been wanting to read it for like a year, okay? I'm exaggerating, but it's Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino. You cannot even see that. Can you even see that? Oh my goodness me, why it's so bright. Okay, I tried to lower the brightness a little bit to see if you can see. I got a new camera, as you can see. I'm a little all over the place with it, but here it is, if you can see that. It's this Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino, okay? I hope it's not too dark now. Oh gosh, we're just gonna hope for the best but expect the worst. This book, the reason why it reminds me of Message in a Bottle, get this, okay? Apparently, it's about this gal pal, okay? She's just vibing, living her best life. All of a sudden, she starts reading this book that her roommate gives her. And she's like, oh my God, this book's so good. It reminds me a little of me, you know? And then she realizes that the book is about her life. And her childhood best friend wrote it. And they apparently like fell in love before and had a falling out, like what have you. And he wrote it about her. Imagine that. You start reading a book and you're like so obsessed with it. And then it's about you. <gasps> dreams do come true. Giant, when are you gonna write a book about me? Like, come on. I said I would take you to the woods with me and yet you were sitting here not writing a book about me? I'm not gonna take you to the woods anymore. You're gonna have to stay here alone. <laughs> okay, the reason why I chose this one, like it's so obvious, just listen to me, listen to me, okay? Look at these lyrics. You could be the one that I love. I could be the one that you dream of. Message in a bottle is all I can do. Standing here hoping it gets to you. Come on now. Standing here hoping it gets to you because you could be the one that I want. Uh -huh. Oh, I could be the one that you dream of. Oh. Like he wrote this book and he's hoping it just gets to her. Like the message that he wrote behind it gets to her. I don't know if that's actually why he wrote it. I, I, I don't know, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's been in love with her his whole life. He must be, right? Or else it, is it even a romance book? No. Anyway, I'm very proud of this choice. So if you're not, argue with the wall. Now I can't be creative all the time, right? At some moments I have to just be extremely, extremely obvious. And that's what it's like with this next choice, okay? Because um, it's The Archer. You know, one of my favorite Taylor songs. I just got a tattoo for you, you wanna see? Can you see that right there? It's a mirror ball with the little arrow because Archer and mirror ball are me combined. Anyway, completely besides the point. I can't always be a genius, okay? At some moments I have to just, I have, I have to just take the easy route. And that's this one because this book's called Archer. <laughs> this book's called Archer and therefore I put it for the Archer. Could have nothing to do with it, but the title, it's right there. Yeah, you can't argue with this logic. Come on now. <laughs> Apparently this is about Kara. Kara? Is your name Kara? Kara McKenna. Okay, so she's been, lived her life protected. Blah, blah, blah. You're, you're, oh my God, that's what happens when your father t testifies against the Boston Irish mob. Jesus. After years of move after move, witness protection settled her in Wyoming. Oh, poor girl, she's in Wyoming. I mean, I always wanted to go to Wyoming, actually. Like, let me, let me not diss Wyoming, because I always wanted to go there for some reason. Anyway, she's she's there in prison protection, per, prison protection program. Why did I think it was called prison protection program? What's it called? Princess protection program, the movie. I love that movie. <gasps> Princess protection program. No, wit she's stuck in witness protection program. <laughs> and then apparently, blah, 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 four years ago, when massive mistake landed Archer Reynolds, he resigned from the police force, he moved home. Oh, now he opened a protective group, blah, blah, blah. And now he sees that she's alive. Oh, do they know each other? Ooh, okay, the plot thickens. I'm excited to read Archer. I've never seen a single person talk about this book, so I'm very excited to read it. Also, it was written by a doctor. Look at that, 
Dr. Rebecca Sharp. You know what Dr. Rebecca Sharp is giving? This is calm and it's doctor. This is calm and it's doctor. <laughs> Spencer Reed, you know, Criminal Minds. I'm rewatching, so it's been on my mind. Anyway, very excited to read Archer. I've been the archer. I've been the prey. Who could ever leave me, darling? But who could stay? Okay, I feel like the lyrics could go for this book, actually. Like, it could go for the plot after I think about it more. Hmm. I may have been a genius in disguise with this one. We'll see. We'll see when we read it, which we will, which we will. Next, I've got Mad Woman, a very underrated song, if I do say so myself. Again, this I picked solely because of one lyric, okay? Women like hunting witches too. Doing your dirtiest work for you. Because very secret society of irregular witches. <laughs> I wanted to include a fantasy in this and I've been wanting to read this book for so long. It's about witches, it looks fun. And it just reminded me of that lyric. Like immediately when I saw this book, I was like, oh, women like hunting witches too. Doing your dirtiest work for you. Clear that wanting me dead really brought you two together. Cause there's nothing like a mad woman. And it is about like a woman. <laughs> And she's a witch, so I'm assuming she's a little bit mad, a little bit crazy, a little bit fun. So it makes sense in my head, okay? It says that it's a warm and uplifting novel about an isolated witch whose opportunity to embrace a quirky new family side. Don't love that word. Don't love that you used quirky, but it's fine. And I love changes the course of her life. Okay, like, come on. There's nothing like a mad woman. What a shame she went mad. I can't wait to read this, okay? I've been waiting to read this for so long. Is it in first person? Let's check. No. I don't think so. I think it's in third. Yeah. Yeah, it's in third person. It's totally fine. I've been reading a couple third person books lately and I haven't been hating it as much as I thought I would. So we're just going to go with it. Very excited to read this. Next song is one of my favorite of all tracks of all time. Okay, it's timeless. This song is <laughs> timeless. It'll never age. We love it so, okay? Listen to these lyrics, okay? On a crowded street in 1944, you were headed off to fight in the war. You still would have been mine. We would have been timeless. I would have read your love letters every single night and prayed to God you'd be coming home all right and you would have been fine. We would have been timeless. Because I believe that we were supposed to find this. So even in a different life, you still would have been mine. We would have been timeless. Basically in the song, she just talks about, you know, different loves and different lives and the fact that this couple is always meant to be together no matter what timeline it is, okay? It's giving Marvel. It's giving Spider-Man and MJ. It's giving Doctor Strange. It's giving all of that. It's giving Lily and Lowe. If I hadn't read Addicted, I would have picked that one, but I have, so that has nothing to do with anything. We picked the seven year slip. And by we, I mean me. I don't know who we is. <laughs> because look, it's the same place, different time. Immediately I'm like, hmm, timeless, okay? But then I read a little bit more and it says, sometimes the worst day of your life happens and you have to figure out how to live it for Clementine West. That means burying her head at work, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is irrelevant, blah, 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 blah. She moves, okay, she moves to her late aunt's apartment and finds a strange man standing in the kitchen, a man with kind eyes. He has kind eyes. What does that mean? Every time someone says someone has kind eyes, like, what does that mean? Are, how are their eyes kind? I don't get it. Anyway, he exists in the past, seven years in the past to be exact, and she quite literally lives seven years in the future. So they are in different timelines. And I'm assuming it's like one of those things that no matter what, they would have always found each other. It's giving Outlander, okay? It's giving Timeless. I love this one. I'm so excited. This is one of the ones I'm most excited about because I feel like it just matches the song so well. That I'm excited to read it. Oh, she fears she may be seven years too late. Is this gonna be sad? Mr. Too Late? Is she gonna be Mrs. Too Late? Oh no. Oh, but it's in first person. Woo -hoo. We've got to win. And the chapters have titles. I love when chapters have titles. That's something so small, but I absolutely love it. Like look, publisher's lunch, little title. We love. Okay. Seven years left. Can't wait to read this one. I'll keep you updated if it's sad or not. Remember when I said a little while ago that I can't always be a creative genius? This is gonna be true for this next one, okay? Keep that in mind because it's Midnight Rain, one of my favorite albums. Midnight's, come on, Midnight Slays. I always switch my favorite Taylor album because I I feel like I have been just always going through different eras, you know? <laughs> eras. Like, I've been a fan since debut, so of course, sometimes my favorite album's gonna be Fearless, but then sometimes my favorite album's gonna be Lover, you know? Times change. But anyway, as of right now, my favorite albums, top three, okay? Not in order, but Folklore, Reputation, and Midnight's. That's the kind of era I'm in right now, okay? So this one, I had I had to pick a song for Midnight's. I had to. And and it's Midnight Rain, because he wanted it comfortable, I wanted that pain. And it's What Happens After Midnight <laughs> by K.L. Walter. I will say, K.L. Walter, I read another book by her, and I feel like she writes very Taylor Swift coded books. So I wouldn't be surprised if this actually really reminded me of Midnight Rain when I read it. But yeah, I did pick it because of, of the title, like Midnight. And it does look like it's Midnight there and, you know, Midnight Rain. Also, also, okay, it says that Lily, she like broke up with this guy named Tag. Why his name is Tag is beyond me. Tag, you're it. Anyway, she broke up with him, okay? And she still has feelings and like he does too or whatever. So it reminds me a little bit of Midnight Rain because it's like, 
a couple that broke up for whatever reason. I'm gonna assume it's because he wanted it comfortable and she wanted that pain. He wanted a bride, but she was making her own name. So what happens after midnight? <laughs> I was gonna do Lavender Haze because me, me at midnight, but I don't know if they're still in love. Like I don't, I mean, it kind of says they are, but I don't know if like they have that Lavender Haze kind of love. That's a very special song. We can't put that for them until we know them deeply, you know? So Midnight Rain it is. I'm excited to read this. I did like The Summer of Broken Rules by her, so I'm gonna assume I'm gonna like this too. This next one has been sitting on my shelf for so long, you're gonna see that this is literally an ARC copy, okay? And I still haven't read it because it hasn't been the right time. And the right time is now, okay? This song is Wildest Strings. I love this song, love this song. I know you do too, I know you do too. Don't tell me if you don't, because you're wrong. Anyway, the reason I chose it is because look at these lyrics, are you ready? He's so tall and handsome as hell. He's so bad, but he does it so well. And when we've had our very last kiss, my last request, it is. This is a dramatic poetry reading, okay, of Taylor Swift songs by me. <clears throat> Say you remember me, standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset. Baby, red lips and rosy cheeks, so you'll see me again, even if it's in your wildest dreams, wildest dreams. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna perform that at Poetry Night. Anyway, I chose Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. Now, is he really a bad boy? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know why I looked in the back. There's nothing there. <laughs> I don't know if he's a bad boy, but it like is giving that by the cover. Like, do you see that? She, she's, she's wearing red lipstick right there. Red lips and, and rosy cheeks. She looks like she has rosy cheeks. And then he has tattoos. That screams bad boy, right? Like I'm the baddest boy who has ever lived. <laughs> it says here, let's see if we have a little, a little synopsis. Okay. This one's for the softies. <gasps> she wrote it for me. The tender hearted sweeties. Oh no, not for me. The introverts who are afraid to shine a little bit for me. Hmm. It must be for me. I'm the only person who exists in the world ever. Her name's Annie. Okay, I need to know what this book's about so I could hopefully, hopefully see why I chose Wildest Dreams because I literally just chose it because of the cover. Practice makes perfect. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Worry not, everyone. Okay, it says Annie, she's on a quest to find her perfect match. Blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, blah, blah, blah. She needs a little practice. He's a, okay, Will is a flirtatious, tattooed, absolutely gorgeous bodyguard. Okay. He's a grumpy bodyguard, tattooed, gorgeous. Okay, he's so tall and handsome as hell. He's so bad, but he does it so well. Yes, I stand by this choice. Very excited to read this. I had to put one of my favorite Taylor songs of all time on this list. Okay, if I had to pick like top like 10 songs, I already know that two of those would be Long Live and Right Where You Left Me. So of course I had to put Right Where You Left Me right here. And this book is giving my Right Where You Left Me vibes. Now it's not from her point of view. In my eyes, it's from his point of view. Let me explain. It's The Two of Us by Taylor Torres. First of all, Taylor sent me this and she wrote the sweetest note. She said, Larry, you and your beautiful so are everything. You make the book community such a fun place to be. I wanted to send you my novel as a thanks for all the laughs and the wrecks you've given me. So immediately I want to read it because what a sweetie, what an angel, what a girl queen. Now the cover kind of gives speak now, right? It doesn't give ever more deluxe version, but but the back gives right where you left me, okay? Because it says that this girl, Mara, she comes back to her small town in Maine after seven years and she knows that she needs to avoid Ambrose King. So I'm assuming they had something, okay? This is all based on assumptions. I'm assuming they had something and he is still in that small town and she moved on. So it gives right where you left me in the sense of he never left. Like he always stayed where their love happened. Did he stay because of her? Probably not. But in my delusional mind, we're gonna say yes because being delulu is the salulu, right? So yeah, cause friends break up and friends get married. Strangers get bored and strangers get buried. Trends change. Rumors fly through new skies, but I'm right where you left me. So help, I'm still at the restaurant. <laughs> I'm still sitting in the corner that I haunt. Is that how you say that word, haunt, haunt? Still sitting in the corner I haunt, 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 haunt. English isn't my first language. So The Two of Us by Taylor Torres, it gives that. Taylor, can you confirm or deny? Am I right about this? Is right where you left me their song? Let me know. Stay tuned. I'm going to read this. I'm very excited. It looks so fucking cute. Another book I haven't seen too many people talk about, so I'm excited. So here are all the books on the February TBR. Yay! I'm so excited. I love choosing books this way. Let me know if you enjoyed this because it's like a random way to choose it, but also a fun way because it combines my two loves, which is music and books, Taylor Swift and books, you know? So this was fun. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you want to see me do it again. Also, let me know if you've read any of these books and if you like them, because I would love to know because I will be reading them. So, you know, if you can give me a, a little motivation, that would be nice because we all know I don't make it through my TBR often. So, but we're going to try. We're going to try our best. When you try your 
success, but you don't succeed. When you get what you want, but not what you need. Except that song is not by Taylor Swift, so therefore cut it out. We're not including that. Oh my god, wait, there's one more book. What? I forgot about this one. Hold on. Rewind everything. <laughs> it's Don't Blame Me. Of course, I had to include reputation. I love reputation. Don't blame me. Love made me crazy. If it doesn't, you ain't doing it, right? Yeah, I had to include it in our comments. Come on now. Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? A hooligan? What's a hooligan? Let me search that up. Because I say that all the time, but I don't really know the meaning of it. I feel like I should know. Hooligan. Hooligan. Hooligan bar? No. Hooligan meaning. A violent young troublemaker. Oh. <laughs> what? I did not know that that's what it meant. I just thought it was someone silly. <laughs> it says a violent young troublemaker, normally part of a gang. And I'm, I thought it just meant like, you're silly, you're crazy. <laughs> anyway, promises and pomegranate. The reason why I'm saying this is because this is apparently, apparently, okay, uh, Hades and Persephone retelling. It says loosely, loosely retelling, okay? It's not a fantasy or a literal retelling or a historical romance, but it's just like a dark romance that kind of bases it off of Persephone and Hades. And they both seem a little crazy, ready? It says that Elena falls for Dr. Death, okay? They say he stole me, except it was my choice to stay. And then from him, it says, little one, Persephone personified. They say I ruined her, except she was the one who ruined me. So it's giving they're both crazy about each other. Love made them insane, you know? So, you know, it's not their fault. Their drug is their baby. They could use it for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot this one. I'm so sorry, Savar Miller, you know? I'm so sorry I forgot you. You're just forgettable. It's not my fault. <laughs> anyway, so now here are the books that we chose for the TBR. So you'll remember me, I'm in at the sunset, babe. Here you go. Here are the books that we're going to be reading in February because a rule of ours for this year is we're going to get through our TBR, okay? We're going to read the physical books that we have and we're going to stop buying new books, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get through a lot of our books this year. Were we not? I'm working on it, okay? I saw a comment today that someone was like, Larry, you need to stop buying so many books and like you need to read the ones you have. And although I felt attacked, she's right. Like she's not wrong. Not a single lie was told. So I'm gonna work on it. <laughs> so making fun TBRs will help me do that. Okay, thank you. Have such a good day. I love you, I love you, I love you.